Good morning viewers, it's Sunday morning out on our Lincolnshire trip and uh, Luke's just pointed us to this field to start off on, we've got a field behind it that's massive apparently that one's really big next door, goes down and in that tree line there, you probably won't pick it up well you might do if I zoom in there is a uh, there is a steeple there, so we can detect over towards that church on the fields as well. So that was very good of uh, Luke to put these fields on today for the Sunday. Thanks, Luke, mate. Luke's just gone. Luke's just gone over there because uh, he's waiting for Sue, and it's easier for her to find. Cool. Let's see what the day brings. Oh, mate, here the Irish Raider. Has only gone and popped a hammy. It's a, a long cross. Voided. To be avoided. Lot voided is a term that crept in to these coinage. But Alistair McKay, the expert expert, says they're not called voided long crosses. It's wrong. So it's a long cross. May well be Henry the Third. Congratulations. Ooh. We get a bit of a fucking fist pump. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm not the only rock and roll king of metal detecting today, me, me and, um, not Adrian here, William, that's it, William, me and William have been getting drunk while Adrian's in bed and we've been dancing around to punk music and yeah. singing it and, we, and it's got you on the hammered, Will, fair play, and uh, Adrian's right up there in the far corner, he's been on the radio, he's had a cut off and something else. So yeah, it's happening. I'll see if I can get something myself now, viewers. Right, this uh, it's not producing for me, but this general small vicinity. Um, William's had a hammered, he's had a Roman just now, and now he's just popped this. Don't know why I'm not finding that one, but hopefully I will in a minute. And we were thinking it was a forged hammered, but if you look by the top of my nail there, it looks like the digits one six, so that'll be a 1600s traders token, 1666, 1665. See this, this little area is producing at least for William. Just needs to start producing for old fucking Anglo piss pants, mate. <laughs> Maybe I didn't drink enough last That's night. What it was, mate. You didn't get enough. I didn't get enough alcohol in me. Well, metal detecting, you can break it down in its purest form. Some of it is just about a numbers game. If Williams had four good finds here, I've stuck it out, and all I was find is lead, 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 and you just got to tell yourself, well, the more bad targets you dig in a good, productive spot, it literally is just mathematics. Eventually, you're going to get one of the better targets in this case um, it's not high status fine but it's a legitimate uh, find it's a uh, little Roman again so I've got my first Roman off this productive spot that uh, William flagged up really but it's took me a lot of holes to dig it and he got a few nice keepers sometimes you're the lucky one you just got to keep plugging away basically and make the maths work for you by digging lots of holes. The more holes you dig, the more you will eventually find something to keep hold of. I have to talk over this bit because the wind, I don't know why, but my new wind jammer didn't seem to be working. I got, um, I think it was a 1931 shilling, which uh, don't usually dig much pre -death. Hot on the Lynx land, so there you go, viewers. Happy days on the Brahmin shillings. Well, this one isn't a smaller either, just some tiny little piece of metal. But it's two more holes of the mathematical equation to get them on the good finds done. Just got to keep doing the maths, viewers, digging the holes. Well, um, I had to overdub this again viewers because it was windy. But this is uh, Martin's finds. I think he's shown us a hammered here. 
and uh, he had some good finds in this video, uh, Martin. Some seriously good finds come up in this video. It's crazy, even though I didn't find much myself. It is crazy to see what's coming up. And my cat's pairing, if you can pick that up. Tilly's till happy. Uh, uh, Daddy's back. And uh, there's Luke. And William. I think uh, William got a hammer there. And that's his first ever fibula, William. William Anion, my Irish buddy, who's into his sex pistols. And, uh, yeah, has a few jigs. <laughs> she sing alongs. This is Luke's finds box. All the coins there, four Romans. Stunning brooch here. Lovely fibula, smaller one. Got a nice pattern on though, viewers. It's lovely, that. Another big, long brooch. That's like... I think that's po possibly a latine brooch when they're long like that, which is very early Roman. Part of a medieval buckle and part of a trumpet brooch as well. Roman trumpet brooch. Well done, brooch whisperer. Oh yeah, I, for I forgot one of these coins. Uh, Luke's just reminded me. He's also, it's not a Roman coin, this one. It's one of those Iron Age potins. It's about 3,000 years old, like the one I got yesterday. Stunning day for Luke. Uh, I was just trying to think if we'd had a Roman today. I did pop one earlier. So this is my second Roman. There's a bit on it that side. Seeing better days, but when it cleans up, I'll be able to see the design a bit. I'm going to go and catch up and see if Sue's there, found anything in a minute. Let, let's just see it for the viewers, Sue, please. You just do it then, because I'm all sniffling right. and sniffling. Right. There you go. Sorry, viewers, I did just try and film this, but um, I didn't press record properly. Sue's first ever Trump, oh, well, first ever Roman brooch. Stunning. That is the lucky hoodie. It's the lucky hoodie, Sue. Well, well done, well done. Right, I just got a number 21, 22. It's plenty on this uh, Roman. It just needs a clean. You can see him there. I'm not sure what's happening on the other side yet. Uh, you can see something under the dirt there. That just needs a clean. That nice Roman. I'll take that. And uh, you get an idea of the size of that one. It's not a minim. I think they call it a follis. Cool, happy, happy on the nice Roman. I had a shout off Luke. Uh, so he said he's on the radio. He goes, <laughs> found something lovely. That's my radio impersonation. Oh. And he has, he has. Beautiful. Now some of my boffin viewers will be able to say, oh yes, that is Roman. I'm going with Roman. But I ain't a boffin like some of you, so don't shoot me down if I'm wrong, viewers. But put it in the comments if you agree, Roman. Uh, I know one thing. It's a blooming good omen, though. I can feel a denari coming on for one of us. Yeah, and if you look, there's white feathers everywhere on this building. Yeah, Rachel's going to put me on something like, well remembered there, mate. She's, she's always in my mind. But you're getting a right collection now, aren't you? Today. With that as well, yeah. you do you want another pouch? I've got a spare box in, in the car if you want. I don't use them. It's a bit of a trick there, isn't it? I'll leave it here. All right, mate, just don't lose any of it. I've come along the top where there was roaming in the past and down this line, and uh, been digging lots of targets but no keepers. So I'll just pop this little roaming. So, yeah, back on the roaming. Happy days. So Luke just shouted me over because I'll just give it a wipe. We couldn't quite see it properly. Thought he might have had a foreign coin or something. This is one of them quirks of the English coinage from the Victorian era. And it's one penny model. And you'll see Queen Victoria on the back there with the young head. A very, 
very interesting uh, it just simply because nobody already digs them and I can't remember the, the complete history of it now viewers but um, but as I've just explained to Luke they might have been squaring up to uh, design a new penny and that and you know they were just playing with designs but there's some out there but not many people dig them but Luke has now so well done with your model penny Luke Some something different off the yeah. Roman fields Martin just found a uh, yeah we'll have to catch up silver plated gilt, silver gilt uh, Roman brooch apparently so he found another ammo woo got piece some fun though, isn't it? Right, I've got together in the field and the first crazy thing that's just happened, Sue's walked up, uh, she was going to show me one or two things and I've looked in her finds box and she had a votive axe head that Luke was only saying to me a couple of hours ago it was top of his bucket list. Well, it's just as good when your missus finds it, Luke. Uh -huh. At least it's <laughs> still going back to your house, isn't it? Martin then come over and it's just getting crazy on this field. Martin has got this it's absolutely mental, mental Roman brooch. I've never had a heavily silver gilded one like that. Uh, but not only is it heavily gilded, it's got this crazy design. It's like a dual, dual fib. It's a double banger of a silver fib. This is uh, Sue's, <laughs> just stunning. I've never had one of these. It's on my bucket list votive axe that the uh, buried in the ground as an offering and she she also she also had this in and there was mud on it and I couldn't quite work out what it was but we now know but I'm not sure exactly what era but it's it's another like, just like the brooch I've not seen a design of before I've never seen a strap end of this design possibly fish that, that's awesome that any one of these is a banger uh, I'm doing a bit slow today with a few Romans and that but just to be on the same field where all this is coming up this is another one of the brooches that's Luke's Luke's had that fibula there Sue's had the first ever brooch today Sue on that lovely trumpet brooch just madness viewers absolute madness even though I've had like a fairly quiet day just to share the field with all these amazing finds to see them coming up. And he's got a handful of Romans. Well, some pennies. Yeah, you'd think you had an handful of pennies there, but yeah. a lot of them are Romans, Romans aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Crazy, crazy day. And we, we, we haven't seen a lot of Sue this trip out because she's been struggling with the flu. Yeah, he's Thank you from me and the Irish boy Sue and from all our viewers for letting them see all these brilliant finds. Hi, you're welcome. It's it's a pleasure, isn't it, Adrian, just to see it coming out. Lovely. Never seen never seen nothing like all that coming out in one day. This was a gold false alarm viewers are seeing that. Trap treble guilt. Gold false alarm. So I'm still getting over that all those epic uh, shots of what we've just been looking at and uh, Luke's just popped this one it must have uh, yeah it will have a design on it some sort of stamp some sort of seal just can't work out quite what era the mainly associated with medieval I think Luke was asking me I don't know whether they go back further it's got a lot of age to it another another very cool find though thank you Dale I'm going to put everything here yeah, you're just running out of room, mate, whereas mine's empty. Yeah, that's my favourite song. I love You got your potent again today, so that's yeah. two you've had recently, isn't it? Yeah, one yesterday, one today. 3,000 oh. years old, that coin, viewers, as some of you all know. Yeah. Crazy, crazy day. And I'm I'm, I'm doing them a massive favour and pulling up bits of lead and bronze left, right and centre for them so they don't have to... You just keep digging the cool stuff, though. Right, you had a good day yesterday. I killed it, mate. All right, yeah. Well, all these triple banging bucket listing extravaganzas are coming up. But when it's not your day, viewers, it's just not your day. And that's metal detecting, and you take it on the chin, and you go home, and you put your machine on the charge for next time. It's just, uh, it's just how it works, isn't it? 
Uh, but I had a great day yesterday and that also usually happens if you have one great day uh, my next two or three days out can be quiet and I'm walking past holes that all these big bangers have come out of and I'm just digging bits of uh, random bits and stuff like this but that is metal detecting for your viewers here's another example on a bucket list of field of not a bucket lister and they're all gaggled together up the top there probably looking at another bucket lister but <laughs> i actually find it quite amusing it's like how many holes do you dig on a mega bucket lister field and just strike out it's the uh, detecting gods for your viewers the gods of detecting the wind stopped blowing now it's been quite blurry the last few days Beautiful evening out here in Lincolnshire. Could just hear the uh, pheasants uh, calling out, hiding in the cover. And uh, yeah, I'm still on it, kids. I'm still on it. I'm on the bucket list field. <laughs> and uh, this is one of my better finds in the last few hours a button. But it's just lovely standing here taken in Lincolnshire in all its glory with the typical big massive Lincolnshire haystacks right there it's such a pleasure to dig and have button a Lincolnshire button for me the light is fading viewers the light is fading and time is running out for me there's the uh, there's the tower in the distance, if you can just see it, lights fading now. And yet again, I'm on the non-bucket list of viewers. Will I get one in the last 10 minutes? I need a bucket lister. I want one. I think I deserve one. But yesterday, I was on fire, so chances are, today, I'm going to be cold as ice right till I've switched my machine off. It looks a lot lighter on this footage on my phone than it actually is. Well, the lights come on now, so you can see if the lights come on. Uh, there's my latest button for you, viewers. Uh, drop me a comment if anybody would like to own some of these Lincolnshire buttons. Well, viewers, after that button fest for Anglo Celtic, put them other bucket listers for the other that cool and the gang diggers. Uh, Slancher, Adrian. Slancher. Slancher, Willie. Slancher. <coughs> How have you enjoyed your trip over to Lincolnshire, Will? Fantastic. <coughs> you got some big bucket listers off your list. You. And you got the t-shirt. And I got the t-shirt. And he's got the Anglo Celtic t-shirt to, to hold that punk rock beer belly in. Yeah. <laughs> Fair play, Will. I'm glad you enjoyed it, mate. And ha ha same for you, Adrian. Yep, loved it. Absolutely. Medinari, yeah, 100%. I would just get on the plane just for that one thing, so I'm happy. But I didn't get a t-shirt, but I'm not really worried. You don't need one, mate. No, you're you're no. not a punk rocker like me and Willie. No, no, I'm no punk rapper, so I'm not. So, what am I? <laughs> He's a bandit. <laughs> Do you know what he did last night when we were putting requests on, on, on the YouTube while we were sitting in the gaff? He put this speech on, I don't know whether it was political, religious, I wasn't listening to it, I was waiting for his song to come on, it was just a speech for you, <laughs> there was no song, anyway. Did he get the cure soldier? Yeah, he put my car on, on Facebook Marketplace, the car that I was driving around in, so that would have been no good, but yet again, massive thank you to Luke and Sue, and great to see Sue's brother Martin as well. Cheers, guys. Slancher. Slancher. So we've got the Wimmerspoons tried and tested gourmet sirloin steak for me. We've got the fish and chips from the Mo Sharagan. Yeah. <laughs> and 
Well viewers, we're just having our final breakfast. It's got all the Oh, he, he remembered the mushrooms. Oh, that's nice. I'll be sorry to leave this nice, nice gaff, viewers. I will go back to my grotty flat in uh, Evesham. That's the old boy farmer's big house there. Oh, got loads of stuff. Yeah, courtesy of you. See? And look. Just packing to head off back down the road. I've got to strategically place some full bottles of beer and ratty and get the suitcases in on top of them. Hello. This is on the farm still. We're, we're going to leave in about half an hour. Just thought I'd come and say goodbye to these wee creatures. And uh, the viewers can tell us what they are because Willie doesn't know. Ferrets, stoats, weasels, something along them lines. But they're beautiful, aren't they? And back with my babies. Back with my babies. Oh, I love my babies. I love my little beanie babies. And uh, to celebrate getting back, shout out to Sandra Law, one of the biggest Anglo-Celtic fans out there. Most likely because she's about as crazy as me. She sent me some special, special, in inverted commas, cookies to welcome Anglo back from his Lincolnshire trip. Trip. <laughs> yes. So there you go. Thank you very much, Sandra, darling. Just what I needed to cheer me up. All right, love. God bless you. Don't fly too high. Right, Augustus, what do you think of leaving England and heading back home to Ireland? Fucking glad to get fucking out of fucking England. Been sitting in the fucking ground like 2,000 fucking years. So I'm glad to fucking see old Ireland site. Uh, you'll have a good fun. Will this be your first time on a plane, Augustus? What the fuck's a fucking plane? Yeah. I'll let you see when you look out the window, you can look down on old England and say bye bye. Alright, but of course, until the next time. Yay, fucking glad to get fucking out of England. Buster, what do you think of Adrian's uh, Denari? It's fucking shit, Dad. No wonder you didn't dig it. I wouldn't wipe me fucking ass on it. Why you don't answer my comment, you poof? You was in the nice Roman field. But don't forget that I have the fields around here. <laughs>